All right, KBLX Nation, we are at The Laundry in the Mission in San Francisco celebrating the Tupac Shakur Foundation. And this lovely lady is Setua Shakur. Hello, and thank you for having us. Hi, Sterling. Wonderful to meet you. You look absolutely ravishing. We are thrilled to be able to be here to, to celebrate you. Yes, thank you for being here. I'm thrilled to celebrate um, our work here in San Francisco with people in San Francisco. Really What's the plan for the foundation here in the Bay Area? The plan for the, we, I'm, we've been here in the Bay Area um, the past three, four years, and we are finding new roots here. We've been working with um, organizations like People Conservatory um, Group, um, Rising Stars of Marin City. We are looking to change the way that young people, especially people of our community see themselves, how, how they hear about themselves, how they learn, how they're able to process their most times compound trauma and let them know that we actually have a community of responsible, healthy adults that's willing to be there for you to walk through your pains and your trauma. I've read an interview uh, with you where you said one of the quotes that kind of helps you get through and get over and get past and get by is your opinion of me is none of my business. That's right. Um, two years after my brother died, I was in, um, went to a hospital for mental health. And one of the biggest lines I learned there or lessons was me letting go of other people's expectation of me, um, measurement of me, and the need to have that um, and I, it helps me so much and it, 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 it's freed me so much from the shackles of other people's plans for my life. Your opinion of me is none of my business. <laughs> my mama loved me, my brother loved me, my children love me, my man loved me, my pastor loved me. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, I hope you love yourself. Uh, I love me. That's the biggest lesson I've learned in the past 20 years is how to do that safely. Yes. Safely. That's yeah. Yeah, safely. And I think that that's um, what I, if anything, what I want to be a new message from us is that we realize where we have been from the um, Panthers, the civil rights movement, the human rights movement, rap, thug life. We realize where we have been and where we want to go and what's been working and what hasn't been working. Today we can honestly say what hasn't been working. And I wanna create and wanna help anybody else who's working on the right, the right choice, the right change, the right way to um, offer support. Just, I mean, when I say the simpleness of clean, a clean hug or a clean neighbor to know that you really do have support here with no malice, with no malicious. I'm not trying to molest you. I'm not trying to take from you. I want to hear your heart and what you need, and I want to find anywhere that I can how I can find, help you with that. That's what the foundation is going to, who we are. When we were based around arts and creative arts in the beginning, since Afeni's passings, we have had to stretch what we do and how we help. Um, before it was cute to just um, put in a box of performing arts because it was under the Tupac umbrella. But now we really, I feel the need to fill in the blanks from not just Tupac, but from my grandfather, my father, my mother, my uncles, my aunts, and all of the other ancestors that we have. Right now, I don't know why, but Fannie Lou Hamer's name is screaming in my mind. For Fannie Lou Hamer, for all of the people who tried to do and make a mark and, and show an example of where we can go and pride and what dignity looks like and what integrity looks like, that they haven't failed, but we haven't gotten there. And I would like to find, to offer a new way, a new way of um, accepting and, and asking for help and love and support. And do you think with this foundation, especially with your brother's name on it, that it's going to help fight the stigmatism of especially black Americans to get help in mental illness? What I'm looking for first, um, help with mental illness, but what I, this year, let's just say, because I've done groundwork, and what I'm realizing is that we don't know that we can ask for help. So yes, help with mental illness for sure, but help with identifying what's wrong with me for first. 
and just to be having some place to say something is wrong. I don't know what it is, but I need to do this in my life and this blockage is stopping me. And, I, and I'm dope, I'm amazing, I'm not, I'm not a broken person, but I need some help. And the foundation, I, I want the foundation to be a clearinghouse for support and help for as many people as possible. Yes. Yeah. Your KBLX Nation has your back. Thank we you. celebrate you and the foundation. You so and you want to tell KBLX Nation what they can do to support you? You can go to Tupac Amar Shakur Foundation dot com dot org, all of those, um, and donate to our new website that we just started today. So thank you guys so much. And love one another. Listen to one another. Be kind. Be kind to one another. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.